guest is the executive director of the Ella Sharp Museum, Julie Johnson. Julie, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Well, thank you. Have you had your one year anniversary yet? No, it's coming up in a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? Yes. Wow. So how's the first year gone? Uh, fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Very you, fast. You glad you, you came to Jackson? Yeah, yeah, Good. it's a lot of fun. Good. Uh, so it's been a busy summer and I think um, people were exposed to the museum in new ways this year. I like how you partnered with uh, a lot of the things that were happening in the park, pretty much just being more welcoming and open to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to park goers and event yeah. attendees. Yeah, that's, we were that's happy. That was you, des you specifically by design wanted that to happen. Yes. Well, one of our key areas of growth is um, continuing to become a community partner. Mm -hmm. So the more we can partner with folks, um, the more people are made aware of us, and um, that only helps us in return. So Good. It's also been the year of um, bringing things back. Yeah. <laughs> And I know the pandemic was the primary reason that some things had to be put on the shelf. But um, this summer, we've had the return of the patio parties. And I think yeah. there's one... Uh, this Thursday. This Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit different format. Uh, what are the patio parties like this year? Well, we have exceeded our maximum seating capacity <laughs> <laughs> for the last two, and uh, we're hoping to sell out on this one as well. I'm very excited. We've changed a little bit. We're, we're theming them. Um, so we've already had a history one, we've had an art one, and then this uh, time is science. So we have our latest planetarium um, and uh, STEM um, educator. He's going to be doing um, some mad science demonstrations. Okay. So it'll be a lot of fun. And for entertainment, Steve Berkmeyer. Yes. And you've had a different caterer um, for each of the... We have. Yeah. The, um, so we actually um, reached out to um, uh, Fazoli's this time. So it's Italian this, this Thursday. All right, check it out. No, you do. They do want you to make a reservation. Because as Julie said, they fill out, fill up. So uh, call the museum, or you can do it online too, can you? you yes, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're a member, how much is it? It's free for members. Yeah. Good reason to join. I know that's right. So if you join the museum at the start of the summer, you essentially pay for the muse You pay for the uh, the membership by um, not having to pay for the patio parties. Nope, you don't pay for patio parties, you don't pay for planet planetarium shows, any of our exhibits, all of it's free. Wow, so another reason to join. In addition to welcoming more people on your campus, you've been out outreaching, mm -hmm. including with uh, Bright Walls. Yes. Tell us about your uh, involvement with Bright Walls this year. So this year, um, we were approached by the committee of Bright Walls and said, hey, how would you like to come down to Bright Walls and actually run um, the bars inside the main stage area? And it didn't take a lot of coaxing. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> yes, let's join. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. We also had a mural painted out mm -hmm. at the Hearst Planetarium. Um, Al Warden's mural is out there, and that was uh, also a um, Bright Walls uh, mural. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, artist uh, Jack Swan painted that mural. So it's, it's amazing. He did it in three days, and it's beautiful. They, they all amaze me, all the muralists. It's uh, unbelievable what they do, particularly when they're doing people and in such fine detail as they did with Al Warden. Yeah. It's amazing. It is, um, and he spray painted it, so it was, and airbrushed it. it, it's amazing. It looks so detailed you have to see it, it's mm -hmm. unbelievable. Now, uh, the museum um, has um, a pretty popular exhibit underway mm -hmm. right now, just yep. opened, I think just a couple weeks ago. Yes. Uh, insects. Yes. Who's interested in insects? <laughs> <laughs> More people than you probably thought. Yeah, so Small Wonders, Insects in Focus is uh, very popular right now. Um, we have people coming in of all ages coming in to see it. The um, Small Wonders was actually in partnership with the Jackson School of Arts. Mm -hmm. um, they are helping us with that and um, having all of their students come out and see it as well. Uh, the photographs um, 
it's not just a single photograph of, a, of an insect. It is actually hundreds or thousands of um, photographs that are then put together. Um, he uses different types of light to enhance the colors that you see from a natural insect. You know, it's, it's amazing what you can see, the finest hairs, the eyes, everything. So it's uh, just started, just opened uh, the first of the month. And that's going to go on for how long? Till October 22nd. Ah, so short time, mm -hmm. eight weeks, six, eight, six, eight weeks. Go see yep. it while it's here. The um, fall, that's always been a very popular time at the museum. Previous to your arrival here in Jackson, in a pre-pandemic, I think even before the pandemic, though, the fall festival was, um, was suspended. Mm -hmm. And so what are you going to do? Are you going to try to bring that back? We are bringing, it's not the fall, called the Fall Festival, but it's called um, Halloween Bash. So um, we are going to have pumpkin painting, we're house tours, uh, um, spooky planetarium shows, galleries are all open. It's a huge, big weekend for us, but the entire month actually has something going on every weekend for the month of October with all different types of activities, including the Small Wonders Insects in Focus exhibit. We're also opening a brand new exhibit October 1st called How People Make Things with Alro Steel. So we have all kinds of new things happening this month. Yeah, and the, the Jackson History Gallery, that's yes. um, changing. Lloyd Gann said you called him up and said, hey Lloyd, come get your car. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was in person when I said that, but yes. Um, he, uh, he has, um, has Marion has been in the exhibit. So um, with the History Gallery, um, when I got there, I found out that most of the objects that have been in the gallery have been in that gallery for 12 years. So oh, wow. as a museum specialist and um, understanding that um, we should not have artifacts out on display that long, it, oh. it damages them. So uh, we also had some other um, items that were needing of repair. So we did take all of that down and we're going to be using it for the next six months or so as a traveling exhibit space. Um, and um, I talked to uh, the Glick family because they were very um, important uh, partners in that uh, Jackson History Gallery. And we are going to be moving um, into the Pyron and Emmett galleries. So inside the um, main gallery section, and that's where we're going to actually be revolving Jackson history in different formats. So you're going to see every six months we're going to be changing out and getting new um, pieces out of our collection mm -hmm. so that um, people can see things they haven't seen before. That's a great idea because I guess as it is, the Jackson history collection could become part of the Jackson history future collection because it's so much, it's been there so long, yeah. it's part of our history now. It is, so. it is. Yeah, the basement, the archives. It's yes, the, yeah, it's, it's, they're in the basement. They're in the basement. <laughs> All right, one more time, uh, the patio party, uh, while we look at some of the uh, fun that people have had in the uh, past couple of patio parties. This oh. Thursday, the, the theme, what did you say the theme was? This is science. Science. Yes. And you've got an astrophysicist. Yes. Right? On, so, on the team? Yes, so we hired mm -hmm. Travis. He's an astrophysicist from Tennessee. And uh, he is all into all kinds of space, anything space. So. It looks like we're going to have a uh, good weather forecast, maybe, you know, sweater weather, sweatshirt. Keeping our fingers crossed, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got some fun activities going on. We're going to be uh, having a big um, science demonstration where everybody can get into the fun. So. Great. Make your reservations. Yeah. Call them in or visit the website. And we'll see you Thursday night, and that will be it for this year. This yes, for this year, okay. we'll restart them again um, in the beginning, uh, right after um, Art Beer Wine mm -hmm. next year. Art Beer Wine, June tenth. Oh, put that on your calendar. It will be the what number of year? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been a it's been very a very busy summer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. The executive director of the Ellis Sharp Museum, Julie Johnson.